Now we don't need a groundhog in Pennsylvania to do that. Tomorrow morning I'll be getting up. I've got a groundhog, or really it's a gopher who thinks it's a groundhog on Groundhog's Day. Uh, we'll go outside and see if it sees its shadow tomorrow morning or not. And I'll be posting it on my Facebook and Twitter page, so make sure you go and, and check that out tomorrow. But a little hint, not going to see the shadow because we're going to see a lot of clouds as we go through the day tomorrow. Tonight we've got cloudy skies. We've also got cooler temperatures. Taking a live look from Allo Communications, not seeing Venus up in the sky, which we oftentimes do this time of year uh, from that camera point. Temperature wise, we're sitting at 27 in Lincoln. We hit a high of 42 degrees. That occurred this morning about 330. So it's been a long time since we've seen temperatures that warm. And yesterday, remember, we were sitting in the 60s. Not the case today as temperatures are now upwards of 30 degrees or more colder than 24 hours ago. And wind chill values right now are in the teens and now dipping below the teens. It feels like it's 12 in Lincoln. It feels like it's 11 in New York and 12 degrees right now in Columbus. Wind chills will continue to dip overnight and at times we may go below zero. We're also seeing a little snow being detected on radar right now, uh, mainly to the south of Beatrice, down towards Barnston, also to the east of Pawnee City and down towards Fall City. And if we see some accumulating snow, this is on the very northern edge of the big winter storm that's going to impact uh, much of the country over the next couple of days. We may see it down here near Fall City, half inch, maybe at very most an inch of snow possible by early tomorrow morning. The rest of us will be lucky to see snowflakes and that's about it. Cold front is off to the south and east. That's what's brought the cooler air in. High pressure is now beginning to dive in out of Canada and that's going to keep us cool. Take a look at this. 22 states are now listed under some type of winter storm warning, winter weather advisory, or winter storm watch. It expands, for, for the swath is about 2,200 miles uh, from southwest up to Maine is the uh, farthest northeast you go to see some of those winter storm warnings and watches. And this is looking at the winter storm severity index and giving you an idea. If you've got travel plans tomorrow, let's say you're going I-80 east through Denver and up towards Chicago, not advised, especially if you're heading then down I-74 through Peoria and Champaign, Illinois, or even over towards uh, Indiana, not a good idea because some of these areas may see upwards of one to two feet of snow uh, through Friday morning. Now around here, wind chill wise this evening, it's going to feel cold. Unfortunately, not a lot in the way of snow. If you're looking for snow, it's just going to feel like winter. By 9 o'clock, wind chills again down into the teens. We'll keep dropping from there overnight. We'll keep skies cloudy, but the winds will stay up overnight. By early tomorrow morning, this is looking at 8 a.m. or make that 6 a.m., wind chills are down to right around zero, if not slightly below. And then we'll take it through 7 o'clock in the morning, down to 2 degrees below zero in the capital city. And by 8 o'clock in the morning, we're looking at wind chills between zero to maybe as much as seven degrees below zero. Air temperature wise tonight will drop into the single digits to right around 12 degrees in Lincoln. Tomorrow looking at wind chills because that's going to be the big story tomorrow is what it feels like outside. You can see by noon we're all going to be right just below zero as we head towards the afternoon. We're getting up into the single digits and then as we head towards the evening we're not going to, we're going to stay on the cool side. High temperatures tomorrow only in the teens and take a look at the wind chills as we go Wednesday night into Thursday morning. They really start to drop through 9 o'clock, through 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock. By early Thursday morning we could have wind chills at at times 10 to as much as 20 degrees below zero in parts of the area. Seven day forecast then shows temperatures start warming back up as we head towards the weekend back into the 40s, maybe near 60 degrees by next Tuesday and even by next Thursday we could see temperatures in the middle to upper 50s.